Who knows? You know? That's a National Treasure reference. Yes. I mean, oh, I know. It's great. Good movie. Good movie. <laughs> All right, guys. Are we going to talk about that partial lunar eclipse from this morning? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. I yeah. think we should because it was pretty neat. If those of you woke up around 3 in the morning, that's when it, we had the peak, or it was at its peak. It was pretty nice out there. We did have some thin clouds in the way that wasn't really giving us that reddish appearance, but you still could see a little bit of a bite missing. This is a, a photo sent in actually from our producer, and you could see a little bit of a bite missing out of the moon. This is near the start of that partial lunar eclipse, but if we look at the next photo, you can see a little bit more of that moon missing. This is actually near the peak, close to 3 a.m., probably what many of you saw, just a little bit of a sliver left of the moon. So thank you, of course, to our producer, Mitch, for sending that in. But you know it would be even better if you all showed us your photos. If you were up, had some photos that you took, send them to us. You can go to our channel 8 page, and there's a little tab that says send us your photos. We'd love to put those on air throughout the morning show. So go ahead and please do that. And well, we'll also take a look at what we're seeing outside now cloud-wise because, like I said, we had some thin ones during that eclipse period, but right now they're a little bit on the thicker side. That main wave is moving through. You can see the brighter color showing those thicker clouds. So I'd say about partly cloudy over southeast Nebraska, pretty much overcast further off to the west, and eventually this afternoon and evening, We'll see those clouds really hanging around all across the state. Maybe a few breaks here and there, but I expect mostly cloudy skies for most of your Friday. So a little gloomy out there, maybe little peaks of sunshine here and there, though, throughout the day. So not a completely really gray day, a little bit of sunshine here and there. And now that we are seeing those clouds moving into the area, it is kind of helping stop our temperatures from dropping. We're not as cool as we were yesterday at this time. Wind chill values across the state are in the 20s for most of us, not seeing any teens or single digits out there. Scott's Bluff, remember, you were around one degree for your feels like temperature yesterday around this time. But instead today, wind chill values, while still chilly, are a little warmer. It feels like 26 degrees in Lincoln, 25 in Beatrice, 29 in Hastings, and 26 in Columbus. So as you're dressing outside, of course, have those coats on, but you don't need as heavy of some layers on later today because we are a little warmer out there. Clouds increasing throughout the morning as well as wind speeds, but wind speeds out of the south will warm us back near average to those low 50s. I think we'll see a high temperature around 53 degrees. Now, while that wind is helping warm us up, of course, it is a little bit on the annoying side. We could see gusts from this morning as those winds increase well into the afternoon and evening above 30 to 35 miles per hour. So a breezy day today, not the best day to do any raking, and we will eventually see those wind speeds calming down for overnight tonight with the low of 35 degrees. But they are expected to pick back up during your weekend forecast. So if you need to rake, Saturday's the day to do that. Calmer wind speeds. We're back still in those 50s, but come Sunday, a cold front moves through, dropping us back to those upper 40s and also picking up those wind speeds. And this will be all throughout your Sunday. So definitely don't plan the raking for Sunday. It's going to be a day to do that on Saturday when we have those calmer wind speeds, guys. And as for next week, a quick look at that Thanksgiving forecast. Now high of 40, 1 to degrees, Andrew and Katrina. So we'll see if that number continues to drop. But for now, it's a dry forecast. I know. I think the beginning of the week it was 45 degrees. Now it just keeps inching down close to that 40 yep. mark. Those numbers are starting to trend a little cooler. Uh, good day to stay inside and eat. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany.